Welcome to people on Sony. My name is Tyler. Today, I'm going to show you guys the workflow of exporting animation from Maya to Unreal using Olympic Cache. So, first up, what we're going to do is we're going to create our reference from uh, the, the model. So, I'm going to import this link. So, it's in here now. I'm going to create the simple animation really quick. Okay, so now that we have our animation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the reference in. Uh, from, uh, so instead of having it be reference, we're going to import it in. So I'm going to import objects. So now that we have this, uh, we have our animation all ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to the mesh, and we're going to make sure for the materials that each mesh part it has a has the material applied to it at the face value. So when you are doing this, you want to go in, and uh, if you know if the character only has one material, that's great. But usually they have multiple, so you will go through and um, select all the individual faces and apply those materials. And then yeah, I would go into here, and then whatever material it is. Uh, once you have the faces selected, you right click and you just do assign material to selection. And you do that for all the pieces. So now once we've gotten that, what we're going to do now, so uh, before we go into Unreal, we're actually going to make sure these materials are labeled correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, each of the materials one by one, and we're going to hit this little button here, input and output connection. This is going to bring up the uh, material menu, material nodes, and what we're mostly looking for is these names. We want uh, each of these to be named the material that we're going to name it the same in Unreal. So make sure that this is labeled not this one. For whatever reason, it only takes this uh, this node. So yeah, make sure you do that for all of those. So I'm going to combine all of the mesh into one piece. And you want to be doing this after the animation is finalized and you are ready to export it. So now we have the one piece. We're going to go into the animation tab up here. And we're going to go to key. We're going to hit bake simulation. And what this is going to do is going to bake the animation to the actual geometry. So now uh, we're going to go into cache, limit cache. If this isn't showing up, you go to windows. Setting Preferences Plugin Manager, and you're going to type in ABC, and going to make sure that these are on. So, we're going to a limit cache. We're going to do export selection, just so you aren't grabbing everything. Um, then we're going to just name. We're going to name this test. And we're going to scroll down. These steps are extremely important, so make sure you are looking at these. Uh, make sure that. Uh, this is on for materials as when you create the new materials from the referenced object it renames it and puts a colon in and Unreal does not like colon so it will not work. Uh, make sure you have right face sets on and then all of these other ones are optional. We're going to export selection. Just going to put it in the cache. So now we are in our project folder. We're going to go to cache, Alemic. As you can see the test is in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Unreal and put the animation in. We're going to drag our Alemic cache into Unreal. Uh, make sure that if you combined it, it will only, if you combined the geometry correctly, it should only have one thing listed in the track name. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to import type. We're going to change this to geometry cache. And this is where you can adjust uh, your animation frame start, frame end. Um, you can also take this to if you don't want to uh, have specifics for that. And we're going to scroll down to uh, find materials. Make sure this is ticked, um, and also make sure you have made the materials uh, from Maya in Unreal already. Um, you can also do create materials as well. I'm not sure if these work in conjunction, but you could also try this. And then uh, usually uh, the element cache it will auto recognize it's a Maya file. And then make sure that you have this X. Make sure you turn this from 0 to 90 as 
uh, the uh, directions for uh, Maya to Unreal are different. I believe that should be it. And make sure flatten tracks is ticked also. So we're going to hit import. And uh, depending upon how much animation data you have, this could take uh, like five seconds or it could take minutes. Um, it really depends. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to drag our character in. And as you can see, the materials are being applied. If they are not being applied, that means the uh, something has not been labeled correctly. And I'm going to show you where I have the uh, textures. So this is all the, uh, the textures of materials are listed. So as you can see, these are all the same names as the file. And it will give you a, in the output lock, it will give you some uh, yellow text of, hey, this isn't labeled correctly. Um, you need to go back and uh, relabel it. And then if we want the geometry cache to actually play, we're going to go to content. Uh, make sure you already have a uh, level sequence ready to go. I'm going to grab my character. We're just going to drag it into the sequencer. We're going to hit track, geometry cache. And so now you can see the animation is playing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.